TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it just in case. Just a little warning screen. I'm pretty sure nothing of nothing crazy is going to happen, but, you know, it's there. Don't forget, we do got twitch.com. That's where we be. That's where we are right now live. Usernames are at the bottom of the screen. And we also got Patreon where we post five days per week. All of that info is located in the description below. This is Camp Pay Will Take It Away. You see what season it is and what episode. I forgot. Oh, it's in the title, though. Talk to me. Copyright, copyright disclaimer, disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. You said, when will I live in the UK? I don't know about that one. Maybe I might come for a year, though. I wouldn't consider that living. Since the beginning of the decade, over 70% of small and medium-sized businesses in the UK have been involved in a commercial dispute of some kind. Businesses incur costs averaging £17,000 in an attempt to resolve them. I was muted, I read that. Y'all can read it. Small businesses in England and Wales spend 11.6 billion every year to an attempt to resolve commercial debt. Damn. High Court Enforcement Agents Gary Ball and Matt Highway are on their way to Hales Owen in the West Midlands to recover a debt owed by shopkeeper Mr. Santok Bahia. He owes £10,496.67. pence. Five months ago, Mr. Bahia was found guilty of fraudulently taking a deposit off the claimant towards the sale of a property. He sold his shop to somebody, took deposits off them with no intention of actually selling the shop to them. Wow. Mr. Bahia so for was... all of y'all who say I'll be moving like I'm trying to get a job with them, so what are we doing in this situation? But he's a scammer. He scammed people. He scammed them for their deposit and didn't sell them the place. What are we doing with this? Come on now. Talk to me. Be realistic. He's given a community service sentence and ordered to pay back the deposit plus court costs. But the money hasn't been paid. Now Matt and Gary are here to get payment in full today. It's a tight door, isn't it? Hello there. How you doing? I'm looking for um, Santok Bahia. Is that yourself, sir? My name's Mr. Highway, sir. I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent. It's an outstanding balance of £10,496.67. No, I've my solicitor to deal with that. If you speak to my solicitor, I'm sure my solicitor will be able to put your wise. Yeah. Well, I don't, I've not met a solicitor yet that can override a High Court rate. Can I just speak to my solicitor? Because of course you can, yeah. There's a copy for you. All right. Well, hang on while you give him a call, if you like. Hello, Bell. So, what what was he at? Because I've got these bailiffs in here asking for 10 grand. It was nowhere near them. I need, because these lads are in and they, they need to be satisfied and whatever whatever needs to be done. Because it's, I don't want this to, to es escalate us. He's like, oh, wait. Oh, okay, mate. Thanks, Bell. No, I mean, it's already escalated to the high court. You should have just paid it. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't have did what you did in the first place to your scammer. That's for, that's for sure. But you know what I'm saying? Continue. The solicitors are your advisors, aren't they? Yeah. But when you've got a piece of paper in front of you from the High Court that states that amount, that's the judgment order, yeah? Whether your solicitors think it's right or wrong or indifferent is, is not relevant, is it? No, of course it is because. Well, it's geez, not. You know, people do try to, to fob us off, people do try to um, find a way around the enforcement process. Um, and I think what, what, they do, what they forget is that, you know, we do this job. 
every day of the week. And, um, you know, any, any way of evading the, the debt or evading paying the debt, we've seen before, uh, and we have ways around it. 30 minutes later, Mr Bahia's solicitor calls back. 30 minutes? Thank you. This conversation, that Hello, it's Mr Highway, High Court Enforcement. How can I help? I do understand your position. You're there to do a job, obviously, to collect money from the High Court writ. You don't know the background. You don't know the situation. The solicitor says Mr Bahia is in the process of appealing against the court's decision. Unfortunately, at this point in time, we've got a, a writ against your client. I'm here to enforce yeah. this judgment I've got in front of me. Thank you. Thank you. Now the agents need Mr Bahia to understand he must pay the ten and a half thousand pounds he yeah, owes period. today. You know what I'm saying? You need to start making efforts to raise the money, sir. No, I'm saying I ain't got it now. I haven't got it on me. What sort of money are you able to raise? Now, probably about a thousand pounds. I'm looking at that's what like getting some people. I've only got about fifty, sixty quid. Mr. Bahia, I'm going to wait till uh, 11 o'clock, that's 10 minutes. If you're able to get £3,000, then I will speak to the clients and we will look at putting the rest on an arrangement for you. All right? But, but for less than that, I'm, I'm removing goods. It's as simple as that. So you do, you do what you want in the next yeah. 10 minutes. That's, okay, that's up just, to you. Just... That's the deadline. The clock is ticking. But instead of trying to raise the £3,000 Matt has asked he for, to negotiate. Mr Bahia tries to strike another deal. I've got a debit card, yeah. and on that debit card, yeah. right, I've got £1,500. Right, right and that's okay. It. Why, why don't they pay the debts? Because he, we know he's lying, though. He just said he got $1,000 that he can, and that's gathering from people he knows. So get that 1000 get that debit card. That's 2500 buddy. Because they believe they can evade it. They believe that they, somewhere or other they're going to get around uh, paying this amount of money. Unfortunately, the court's made them liable for it, and they are liable for it. They've got to pay. Mr Bahia's time to try and raise funds is nearly up, but he's still attempting to negotiate with the agents. Matthew, I'm a fair bloke. Yeah. If I can get you... Um, You're not fair. I'll meet the 15 now, mm -hmm. and if you come back... You come back Monday. I can't do that, OK? Well, I think I've made a very good offer to you. 15 right. and 15 Monday, or yeah. even tomorrow. Yeah. You know, 15 no. tomorrow. It needs to be today, sir. Not today. It's physically impossible. Get an inventory sorted and um, we'll get removal sorted. The deadline has come and gone. He might got $10,000 in groceries in here, maybe. Nah, that's, that's a stretch. Probably like five. The agents now have no choice but to start an inventory of assets in the shop. Just let him pass you, buddy, for a second, would you? Thank you. But then Gary finds a box full of carrier bags hidden behind the counter. That's mine, mate. Leave that, leave that, sir. Don't leave it. And Mr. Bahia suddenly becomes agitated. I've got to get into it, mate, to get, get a card, eh? Just leave, leave it, sir. He'll I'll give, give you it back if he needs to give you something out of that's yeah. fine. Don't. Whatever you do, don't obstruct the enforcement agent in his duty, OK? Because that's criminal offence and I'll call police for that, all right? Oh, I mean, uh, and then they will attend because I'll call it's them. All, paper. all right, well, that's fine. Well, if that's true, then just back up. Ain't nothing for you to, you know what I'm saying? Sir, sir, just back off. It's bag after bag. Is it in paperwork, mate? That's what I'm saying. Is it quite important paperwork? Yeah. Is it because it's just full of bags? That's what I'm saying. Just some money but in As there. Gary investigates the contents, he makes a surprising discovery. There's cash there, sir, as well. That's been seized. Well, let's move it all out of the way, then. The bags appear to be stuffed with cash. What you need not to be doing, you not need to be obstructing him because I'll call police. Do I need to go through them? More, more cash. What, what, what are you doing with that? It's seized, it's seized, sir. It's seized, sir. It's, it's cash. Yep. You saved my money. Right. Well, unfortunately, it's here and it's being seized at the moment. There appears to be thousands of pounds stuffed into numerous envelopes. There might be ten there. See, I, people always got it. It's eight. Not eight always, but. No, but the thing is, it's not so mine. So don't touch. Did, did we find it in the property? Yeah. And it's seizable. But it's not my money. So what are you it's doing with somebody else's money here? Because they, they leave it with me. Right. They've got the shopkeepers here. We've right. got a committee. Do then, you want them to turn up? Then great. Do you want them to turn up? 
with Mr. Yes. Bahia getting increasingly agitated and threatening to call more people to the shop, Matt calls the police. Police emergency. Hello there, my name's Matthew Highway, I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent. Could do with police presence if we can. Oh yeah, you got money. It's a, it looked like it's a good amount there. It's, it's, a, it's some stacks there. It gotta be at least like eight. A straightforward case has taken an unexpected turn. You're robbing me, really? Surrounded by thousands of pounds of cash and with the possibility... Yeah, you robbed somebody. That's why you're in this situation. ...ability of a confrontation, Matt and Gary will have to do all they can to keep the situation under control. <laughs> Not gonna lie. The agents... That's a bit sisters. Do you want him to turn up? Do you want him to turn up? There we go. We've seized quite a large amount of cash from the property. Now, 20 minutes after they were called, the police arrive. Good afternoon, you all right? My name's Matthew Howe, I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent, and a colleague, Mr Ball. Um, we're here today with a, a writ uh, from the High Court against this gentleman. The gentleman was very cagey about us going anywhere near this, this bag. We managed to move it to the other end of the shop. My colleague opened it and there's a, a large amount of cash in there. Um, we've counted that, it's come to, what was it, mate? £6,830. Well, just shy of 7000 quid. Yeah. Uh, we've seized that now, yeah. but at that point in time, the gentleman was buzzing around us quite a lot. So you can see I've got a bit concerned about our welfare and safety. So I've asked you guys to attend if that's all right. With the police well present, Matt and Gary must get this case resolved quickly. Mr. Bahia hasn't. I feel like he a bookie. Like, like he giving me real bookie vibes. Like, come there, place your bets, leave your money. Here's the payout type of energy, and this is the money. Tell them any proof the money doesn't belong to him, and the seized cash will cover almost seven thousand pounds of Mr. Bahia's debt. But there's still over three and a half thousand pounds left to pay. You able to pay the rest of this debt, sir? Either no, or can you make arrangements to pay the rest of the balance? Well, I can make arrangements. Yeah, what would that be? I don't know, about £200 a month. £300 a month. £200 a month. Yeah, £300 a month. £300 a month. Matt calls the office to see if the claimant will accept Mr. Bahia's offer. Hey, mate, you're right. They should. You got I'm seven okay. bands. So, the minute, the gentleman is making an offer for the remainder of the balance at £300 per month. Can we just find out what the client wants us to do with that one? I'll see what they say, and then I'll uh, get straight back to you. Okay, mate. Okay. Thank you. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Do you understand the client's not under any obligation at all to accept your offer? But then, Mr. Bahia decides to call the claimant directly himself. <laughs> what should have done this in the first place? No, when you were turned up, I wish I'd have fucking run he alleges the claimant has agreed to his offer. Oh, here we go. But then Matt gets a call back from the office. Hello. Hi, Matt. Hi, mate. Hey, uh, yeah. I'll take it you've had a call from the client. All right. So there's no offer of an arrangement coming from the client. So he wants payments in full, and, that, and that's it. No, no cap. I would not accept. I don't think I'd accept an arranged payment either. Not from him. Not he's finessed her, or whoever the client is. He finessed them. So I, I'm not accepting nothing less than my full amount. The full amount that I gave you, I want it back. The agents have now been on the premises for over three hours. After the lie about the claimant accepting his payment plan. Matt gives him a final ultimatum. Bro is down bad. He cooked. If you can get two no and the rest by Monday, then I'll, I'll, not, I'll not remove. Are you going to have two now? There's, there's the deal. One. Need to find the money, otherwise I'll organise removal and we'll get this, this, this shop emptied. Faced with the prospect of losing the stock, Mr Bahia decides to pay up. Got a card machine, mate. He's going to do this in a second. Oh, I'm yeah. Okay, but just check the amount at the top, two thousand, and then see your pin number for me, sir. That's insane. 
So now all of a sudden there's 2,000 available on a card. Remember, he ain't have nothing at first. He was calling around for 15. Then he had 1,000, uh, I mean. Then he had 15 on a debit card. Now he got all of 2,000 on them. Stop playing. All right, then, sir. Thank the you. The jig is up when they come with that high court writ. It's done. You figure it out. The agents have collected almost nine of the ten and a half thousand pounds owed. But if Mr. Bahia doesn't pay the remaining one and a half thousand pounds in four days' time, the agents will be back. Thanks, officer. Yeah, really, really appreciate yeah, no, your help. Okay. Like Thank you. Chairman. Chairman. I don't, Chairman. I don't think there was anything to worry about in the end, but it's just better safe than sorry, wasn't it? Great detective work with Gary there, finding the bag of load of money in. Um, and people often don't realise that we were able to see his cash, the uh, same as any other assets. So, good day, well enforced. Do the money spread. <laughs> My fault. I have zero sympathy for that first dude. Get all the money. Leading charity reports that the number of people seeking advice about their debts has more than doubled since 2009. Last year, the average amount owed reached an eight-year high and now stands at nearly £15,000. Nearly 600,000 people sought advice from a leading debt ship. You know that already. 6.45 a.m. High Court Enforcement Agent Stuart McCracken and El... I know this is negativity pending. 6.45 a.m.? Bro, the sun's not even up. I'm instantly angry. If they Victor knock on my door. are in Rill, North Wales. Right, young Vic. I dragged you out of bed this morning. Early doors. We like early doors, don't we? They're on their way to recover a debt of just over four and a half thousand pounds owed by Miss Sean Banks in court fees after a dispute over a property deal. But this isn't the first time Stuart has visited this address. Mm. I went to this case on Friday and uh, this woman came to the door and said her name was Karen. Right. Showed me utility bills and everything. And she was like, I've never heard of a Saren Banks. Suspicious that the woman wasn't telling the truth, Stuart made some further inquiries following the visit. And the claimant what? sent them a photo. Right. And that is the defendant, Miss Saren Banks, who's the person that I spoke with on the door on Friday. It seems that the woman could have shown Stuart another family member's documentation. It's this house here, mate, on the right here. Lovely house. Now the agents need to confront Miss Banks oh, about nice. her deceit and get this case resolved Wouldn't one it way break or gate? another. All right, let's go wake up. There's got to be somebody rich. Let's go. How much money did they say? I've got an envelope or anything in there. Oh, okay, nice. But this case is not going to be straightforward. It's a negativity. At 6.45 a.m., negativity is bound to happen. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. All right. We're after Miss Banks. Yeah, no, we're after Miss Banks, mate. You what, sorry? Well, she does, because I saw her on Friday. I saw her on Friday. No, she doesn't. She does. I saw her on Friday, mate. We've already spotted a claimant. Is your... No, we're not going anywhere, mate. Here he is. All right, coming out the back. We're not, mate. We've got a high court writ to be here, Paul. Yeah, it's your property, but we've got a high court writ to be here, sir. It does, mate. We have, yes. We're not trespassing. We've got a high court writ, sir. No, we've got a high court writ, sir, which gives us the right to override any trespass laws. My fucking property, my house, yeah. Yeah. my fucking garden. Yeah. You ruined my all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, 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 the man hasn't told the agents who he is, but as he's in a volatile state... Hey, he actually left. 
I ain't never seen nobody get them actually out of the spot. They called the police. What's wrong with police, Stuart was, all right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Yeah. Uh, I need immediate police assistance, please. Um, we've turned up to... I'm telling you, that 6.45 a.m. energy hit different. ...to an address uh, to execute a high court writ. And uh, we've been met with a gentleman who started to throw goods. So we need immediate police assistance for breach of the peace. We're not in this job to get hurt. We're not in this job to get injured in any way, shape or form. The best thing to do is once that something like that has happened is just to take a step back, phone the police, and hopefully the presence of the police will actually calm the situation down rather than us being there ag aggravating the situation even more. Mm. 20 minutes later, the police arrive. Yeah. Thinking. Here they are now, thank goodness. Morning officers. That's ourselves, High Court Enforcement Agents. Hi there. We came here Friday, we're looking for a Miss Sarn Banks. Uh, she said her name was somebody else. Okay. We've come to the house today to obviously try and speak to Sarah. He says she doesn't live here. Okay. I'll just go into the properties and become violent. So we just need police assistance just to yeah. reach the peace, really, mate. So that's you don't all. really wishing to make any complaint? No. So yeah. shall we go and give it a knock? Yeah, go and give it a knock. With the police now present, the agents hope the man will have... Oh, no, yeah, no, this is a nice house. Very spacious. Calm down, so they can find out whether Sean, the debtor, lives at the address. I'll speak to you now. You yeah, here, yeah? yeah no problem. Stuart shows the man... Now bro got good energy. Bro had to wake up, have his morning coffee. And the photo of the debtor he was sent by the claimant. She does my accounts, she works for me. That is it, she doesn't live here. She yeah. does my accounts for me, that's yeah. it. I've been here and I've seen her. You've okay? seen her? I've seen the her claimant. when? When? When I came to the door on Friday. Well, she works for me. And then she texts. She's employed and by then... me. Despite the man's claims, this is the address on the writ, and the agents are duty-bound to continue enforcement. We've got a writ to execute here. You're not executing okay. a writ here because so she doesn't live here. So you need to get in contact she with her. She doesn't live here. You need to get in contact no, with her. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. She doesn't live here. Get no. out of my house, no, I'm it? staying here at the moment, so... No, you won't. I will be. I want him out. Raising your voice does not fix the situation. This is a nice house. Now that we inside, I'm taking a peek. It's nice. No, I'm just staying here at the moment. Nice. Okay. You need to get in contact with her and get her to pay it. Simple as that. She's not going to pay it! I am not going to pay it! Okay. End oh. off! Get out of the house! Once we are inside the property, you can be as aggressive or as angry as you want. We've got a high court writ to execute. Yeah. You let him in, Whether you it's want too late, it man. to or not, we need to get this matter resolved. Okay. You need to calm it down, okay? Start thinking rationally, okay? Rationally? Okay. Rationally, really. <laughs> Because then we can get the matter resolved, otherwise they're staying here, okay? Despite the police presence, the man still refuses to cooperate. So the agents have no choice but to start making an inventory of goods they could seize. This is gonna make it even worse. If he can't... He might tackle Stuart. ...prove they don't belong to the debtor. We need to see assets in the property and they will ask him for proof of it. But then suddenly... The man gets the debtor, Sean, on the phone. Hello, is that Sean? Hello? Hello there, it's Mr McCracken. We spoke on Friday. Well, I'm, 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 I'm not going around in circles with this, OK? You're the person that I spoke with on Friday, OK? So we're here now in the property to take control of the goods unless payment is made. So at the moment, um, uh, we're here to collect a balance of £4,584. If mm. not, we are instructed to remove goods. We're not at the wrong house. OK, so let's not go around in circles. Okay, so I'm going to give you 20 minutes to raise some funds. Okay, if not, we're going to start taking control of goods. While Stuart... They're going to take their cars. There's multiple cars on the property. ...and Vic wait to see whether Sean will pay. They continue... And she bogus. If this is really her boss's house, why would she put her boss's address on official paperwork? Like, that's messed up. ...do their inventory. Okay. Okay, there's one teddy there, that's fine. But now realizing the agents aren't going to go away, the man reveals the whole picture. Okay, okay, that's fine. I've got all the stress and the anger that's going on. 
couple of years ago. When all the mm, so they was together and they split. This house is in, this house is nasty. This is nat. This is a great looking house. It's fine. I've all the stress and the anger. A couple of years ago, when all the when the, the, the dishwasher. Before, what is that? The press got too much. So take it, she comes and looks after the kids and things Cabinet like that. Space. She looks after the kids for a week, yeah? Like, yeah. You know? Okay. He then shows the agent some documentation. I know a bill there, my name, yeah? Okay. How much information do you want? I've got a um, bank statement here at the moment. The documents are in the man's name, John Foster, and are proof enough that the goods in the house do belong to him and can't be seized. Fine. That's fine, Richard, enough. Now the 20 minute deadline for Sean to make a payment has come and gone. And as Mr. Foster hasn't passed on her new address, the agents have no choice but to ask the office to trace her and issue a new writ. She needs to contact us, John. You need to do more legwork now, don't you? Find out where she is. Right, right. right. I'll leave you to it, John, anyway. <laughs> that's, how, that's the hang energy I have. Now go ahead, do your legwork. I did what I needed to do in here. Go find her yourself. 100%. Salute to John, though, for standing 10 toes down. But he did not bend, break, or fold. Ain't Sadly, on paper, there's nothing we can do. Just have to go and do more traces. Stuart and Vic have had to face a highly charged situation. Right. And in Gary and Matt's next case. Uh, what we're not going to do is preview. The we? number of single parents approaching a leading debt charity for help has doubled over the last four years. In 2015, over 60,000 single parents sought advice with their debts with the average amount owed exceeding £10,000. The total amount owed by single parents who contacted a leading debt charity in 2015 is $600 million. All right. Well, I'm a, I'm a single parent, so like I, I feel for whoever at this point. Next, mate, uh, we have got Miss Aisha Best. High Court Enforcement Ooh. Agents Gary Ball and Matt Highway are in Winston Green, Birmingham, chasing a debt of just over three and a half. Even Birmingham, it might, it might get sticky over here. Half thousand pounds owed by Aisha Best for an unpaid loan. If we can find the O's through the fog, that is. When Ms. Best failed to make her repayments, the claimant escalated the case to the High Court. Is it this one here? Oh, it's that road, isn't it? Now the agents have been instructed to collect payment or remove goods to offset the debt today. Nobody appears to be at home. It's hard to tell where the property starts and ends, isn't it? Yeah. Hi, madam. Morning. Uh, can I speak to Aisha Best, please? Is that yourself, man? Can you pop down for us? Thank you. You shouldn't even have popped down, Aisha. You, should, you had the right idea talking through the window. Hello, morning. Miss Best, is it? Oh, is it? Okay, just take a moment. Take a moment, then we'll, we'll crack on. <laughs> you all right, yeah? No. All right. No. All right, so my name's Matthew Highway. I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent. Okay. So I've been asked to attend the property today with a High Court writ. Are you aware of this? Yeah. You are. At the present moment, there's £3,555.02 outstanding. Can you raise some funds and get this paid? Not today, like that. I can't. Okay. I see you shaking. Do you want to get a drink or something and just, you know, just be happy if we sat down for a minute and just talked about it? 
Yeah. So we can solve. They're trying to survey your situation and make sure Sorry. it's not looking good, bro. The agent's visit has clearly come as a shock. Matt needs her to understand what she needs to do next. So let's call you actually, yeah? I'm Matt. All right. So it's been escalated now to a high court writ. Um, well, that obviously it commands me to come to the property today to either collect payment um, or to seize goods to the value of. Obviously, we'd rather avoid that if humanly possible. I know, but there's no way that I'm going to get 3,000 whatever it right. is. So what, what was this? Was it, this was a loan, was it? Yeah, you, know. you, couldn't, you couldn't keep up repayments or lose your job or... Like what is it? But to be fair, I didn't correspond with them how well she does. Yeah. Aisha, a single pet. Salute. She's taking responsibility. She's owning up to what she's done. Oh, really? Parents with two children works full time, but she's been struggling with her bills. How much are you bringing in each month? Um. Okay, about 282 a week. So you're looking at about, what, 1,100 a month? Yeah. Doing this job, we meet people from all, all ends of the spectrum. Yeah, man, 1,100 a month? Yeah, I gotta leave that one alone. And they're very, very rich making to the it people by. who are, you know, on the bread line. I think when people are in that position, you've, you've got a huge amount of empathy for them. It's 100%, and she's taking accountability for what she's done, so... Not for me to judge, it's for me to deal with them in the right way, deal with them how I'd want to be dealt with myself. If you can raise funds and, you know, we can work with you, then we will. The last thing we want to do today is start taking things out of the property. And we're happy to give you time, happy to give you, you know, if you need to make some calls, then make some calls. Yeah. All right. Thank you. At this point in time, we're weighing up the situation, you know, she, she's a carer, um, she's got two children there, you know, she's, she's not on thousands of pounds a week. Three and a half thousand pounds is a lot of money to find. So, you know, we're gonna try and work with her if we can, um, as much as we can. Five minutes later, after making some phone calls, Aisha's been offered some help. Right. Where do you need to collect money from? I need to go to Hansworth. Hansworth, okay. Because you understand, obviously, now we're here, we're not allowed to go anywhere, don't we? I'll be back in the video. Oh. As the agents wait for Aisha, they spot letters scattered around the living room. They nosy? I guess it's the time. The letters are connected to other debts in Aisha's name. She's in a hell of a lot of trouble, isn't it? Yeah, I think we've got every every debt collection agency known to man on the floor there, haven't we? Yeah, I think so. This job does take you to, you know, the front line of what's happening in this country with debt. Good, honest people who have got themselves into one hell of a, a mess. It's really hard to see, especially when they're, you know, they're trying their best for, for their family. They're back. An hour after leaving the house, Aisha returns. How are we doing? I don't know. You don't know? In an hour? Let's take count. Aisha has managed to raise some funds. Look but like she, she got a lot of money. To know how much. Do you want me to count? Yeah. They are hundred. What's that? Two fifty. One four seven two fifty. We've got there. Aisha has raised almost fifteen hundred of the three and a half. That's not bad. They could do a little payment plan. Half thousand pounds she owes. Aisha, then going going forward, obviously this is not the full amount, is it? No. Um, Matt needs to find out more about her financial situation before he can assess how she could pay off the balance. There's bits and pieces, letters, bits and pieces around. There's obviously there's, there's the more debt, there's the more mm -hmm. there's the more issues, yeah. Is that being really well, well, you know, it's part of our job just to have a look at the situation. Because I have got debts and whatever. Mm. Obviously, this debt's been afterwards, all the other debts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think key to it is just try to you know, talk to people. Um, it's hard, I know. Bury your head in the sand. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 So you you ain't got no 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 like there's no malice you got no choice but to you know what I'm saying feel for her she got bills all over the place she just trying to make it to the next day and the biggest part like I said the biggest part of this whole thing is the accountability that she's taking to deal with him in the right way look at the circumstances single mother. Debts coming out of her ears. You can't really see any end to it. To her, you're just one of a long list of people queuing up. What's a good monthly or weekly fortnightly figure that we could give to the claimant? It's gonna be rough. You know, you could afford not getting yourself into, you know, any more difficulties. Yeah, I'm probably just a bit. A hundred pound a month. Right. Well, I'll do. I'll give the client a call then. Um, explain where we are so far. All right. Let's just go into this. We'll be set. Matt steps outside to see whether Aisha's offer of a hundred pounds a month is acceptable to the claimant. Uh, the lady has raised funds. Uh, she's yeah. basically she's she's gone to every avenue she can think of. Um, okay. So I've got a down payment of one four. It's a strange amount. One four seven two fifty. Fourteen hundred and seventy two fifty. That's it, mate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, as far as as far as assets here are concerned, um, and then there. th there's very little. She is a single parent. Um, two children, one age four, fourteen, one age three. Um, okay. And how much is she offering? Uh, she's offering a hundred pounds per month. I would suggest you go with it. Thank you, Jen. Oh, Thanks. All right, darling. Thanks, bye, bye. bye. With the offer accepted, all the agents have to do is complete the paperwork. But as it will take Aisha 20 months to pay off the balance, there are tough times ahead. Yeah, what it is. Yeah. Paperwork for me. Yeah, I'm just going to give you a receipt for your money now, mate. Um, and what I'll do, I'll put the details on there of what you need to do, who you need to ring. As long as you stick to that arrangement, you won't see us again. If there's an issue, pick up the phone, ring somebody, speak to somebody. All right, mate. All right. Just please, please speak to somebody if there's an issue. Okay, I will. Mate, all right, take care. Okay. The case is I resolved got a it's for now. Be an issue. But if Aisha doesn't stick to the payment plan, the agents will be back. I think we're both just a bit concerned though about the level of level of debt that, that you know Aisha's found herself in, and um, she's clearly struggling. You know, single parent. But you know, there's debt collection letters left, right, and centre. I think she will sort herself out. It might take her 20, 21 months, you know, of paying £100 to sort herself out. Um, but hopefully now she, she sees that, you know, there is light at the end of the tunnel. I hope the best for her. A recent survey shows that 25% of the UK's small and medium-sized businesses are worried about their growth prospects and it's taking a personal toll on the people who run them. Nearly 20% of company owners resort to their own private savings to keep their enterprises afloat. High Court Enforcement Agents Stuart McCracken and Elmore Victor are in Burnley, Lancashire. To recover £2,500 owed by a beauty salon, Blissful Bodies, to a dissatisfied customer. Wait, how much? ...are in Burnley, Lancashire. To recover £2,500... £2,500 for a... ...owed by a beauty salon, Blissful Bodies, to a dissatisfied customer. What did she pay $2,500 for in there? What is what is twenty five hundred dollars at the beauty salon? Cause I would not know. I didn't know there was stuff that that cost that much that even could add up to that. But this isn't the first time the agents have tried to enforce this writ. So, Vic, blissful bodies, blissful indeed. Last time the agents visited, the owner of the salon, Claire Greaves, wasn't there. 
the agents left paperwork informing her that if the debt wasn't paid within 24 hours, they would return to remove goods. Ready? Yeah, let's, let's go. go do it. But the deadline for payment has now come and gone. And Stuart and Vic are back to resolve this case for good. Go, Vic, go. Oh. It's clear, yeah? Claire? Mm. No, she's not here, sorry. Is she coming in? Uh, she's not due in today, no. The debtor is absent again. Vic tries to get her on the phone. Hello? Hi, uh, can I please speak to Claire? Speak him. Oh, hi, Claire. It's uh, Vic. I'm here with Stuart I, call enforcement agent. Mm. Um, is there any way you can make a payment today? No, I don't have anything to make a payment. The business is hardly staying open. There is nothing to pay you. Well, can if you, you take the machines, there's even less chance of you getting any money because there's, there is no but money. But there's a reason now for you to discuss this case with us and potentially come to come some some, some kind of arrangement. That's the opportunity I want to give you now. But how much is the bill? At the moment, it's two thousand five hundred and ninety-four pounds. Thousand paid. It's three thousand two hundred and eighty. I haven't got it. So it's, it's it's, I can't. Get your money that I haven't got. I'm a single mum with three children. I haven't got it. There is, there's no money. I've got about 100 quid in my bank account, and that's it. There's just no money to give you. OK, well, so, it's not going to stop us taking any any further action today. But you can't take the stuff that's on the lease agreement. It's not mine. Can't. No, no, I, I, the guy, I'm, I'm just saying... The guy saying, who's coming been... down now, who yeah, I leased the stuff from, is on okay. his way, and he'll be there in five minutes. That's fine. Claire claims that most of the equipment in the shop is leased from another company. Which makes sense. But unless the leasing company can show the agents proof that they are the rightful owner of the assets, Stuart and Vic can still seize them. Mm. There's a, two pieces of equipment in here that can clear that debt. She just didn't want... I, I get her situation, but... With the business, the reality is if we do remove goods, it's going to affect the staff, it's going to affect the defendant, it's going to affect the business, the business isn't going to be able to trade anymore, which means there isn't going to be an income for the defendant, but it's just one of the weapons in our arsenal that we do have to use to make them realise that we have got a rate of control and we will have to remove goods. Five minutes later, the leasing company representative Hello. arrives. Oh, sorry, OK. Oh, I good, yeah, good. Uh, Mr. McCracken, I'm a high court enforcement agent. Mr. McCracken, happy days. In it just. In it just. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. It's Dr. Paul Martin Esquire. Oh, lovely. Right, yeah, okay, Dr. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> just regard. Is he on drugs? Dr. Paul Martin Esquire. I don't believe that. She sent something a random person. It's these goods, mate. As long as you take their goods, you can you can control their goods all you want, but not mine. Yeah, yeah that's right, that's sir. Fine. Show it me some. Okay, show me some documentation. Prove to, you, to me right now I that these goods. To you anything. Oh, there you go. There's your answer, sir. There's your answer. Nah, he's nobody. He's not a representative of the company. If he was a representative of a company, he wouldn't be talking crazy like this. He would understand. He would understand definitely that it is what it is, and I got to do this to show that this is my stuff. I don't believe it. He got on cargo pants that turn into shorts. You can't believe that type of energy. Prove to you Because you claim it's your goods. I'm trying to steal my stuff. I'm not trying to steal. You are. It's not theft at all. We're seizing some on behalf of somebody else for payment. If you think you can start taking my equipment out of here that's mine, crack on. And I'll ring the police because then that's Ring the police, sir. Ring the police. Well, not until you start doing it because it's not theft until you start doing it, is it? Mr. Knighton refuses to show the agents any evidence to prove he owns the equipment in the salon. Stuart must now try and make him understand the agent's authority. OK, the writ says you're now commanded to seize the executions of goods and chattels and other property of the defendant, yeah. which is blissful bodies. That's correct. The chattels of blissful bodies you can yeah. quite happily take. Yeah. Anything that doesn't belong to me. And I'm telling you, it's theft. If you take mine, and I will issue proceedings against your company for right. theft. You yeah, take up with the police, sir. Once we remove these goods, you take up with the police. I'm not going to start to move my stuff. I'm, I'm not going to say that. That's because not. that's my right. Because mm. so now I need to leave. No, I'm not leaving, sir. I'm not leaving. We're breaking the law, so right. no. Phone the police. I don't need to ring them. You just had a broken the law. You are breaking the law. Okay, I'm now, I'm the law. In, now I'm within my rights. You have to perform a citizen's arrest and hold you against your will. Yeah. With no proof that the man, Mr. We're talking about citizens' arrest and hold you against your will. Well, you about to get there for breach of the peace, kidnapping, all type of stuff.
Titan is telling the truth about owning the goods. Go start going around listing things. Stuart and Vic start the removal process. Oh, you can't take my. Don't be taking my equipment. That's my equipment. I've already explained, sir. So. I'm not bothered. You try and take my equipment. Don't plug it back in. I'm not plugging anything in, sir. Look, I'm going to have to ring police. They're going to try and take my equipment. So that's not happening. Mm -hmm. All right, see you later. Bye bye. Oh, give it key. For, give it key for this. Uh, give it key for this door. Are you the landlord? Are you the landlord? I'm. I'm. I'm the owner. Of the, are you the I'm landlord? The owner of the, of the I'm the owner of the property. If you try and take are you? it, I'm asking. I'm, I'm asking. I'm telling you. Are you? No, I'm asking. Well, I'm more, I'm more than the landlord than you. I've got the landowner's permission, which means that's me. Okay. I'm going to lock it. And it's that's just, allowed. So it's my With Mr. Knighton now threatening to lock the agents in the shop. Stuart calls the police. Bro, making all the wrong mistakes, and you can tell, man. You got all this nice beauty salon equipment, but your teeth is terrible. And I, I'm not trying to make no joke. I'm not trying to be mean, but it's not adding up is what I'm alluding to. Something's off. Something is not what it I seems to be. I need immediate police assistance, please. What? Yeah, I need immediate police assistance, please. You don't know the property, so you're not uh, locking this door. I'm within my rights to use as much reasonable force as necessary to, to, to effectively stop you from breaking the law. That's my right. The situation is in danger of spiralling out of control. If I think reasonable force is to lock you in, then hey, that's my right. With ten all right, Esquire. Tempers escalating, it will take all of Stuart and Vic's tenacity to stop this case turning ugly. Dang, it's taking tenacity today? We're in burn with the grid in the back. Right. Yeah. Whoa, you can't turn my dog. Yeah, I need immediate police assistance, please. Now, faced with an escalating situation, Stuart has phoned the police. Hello, officer. Basically, we're High Court Enforcement Agents. We have got a writ to take control of goods. Okay, in the name Blissful Bodies Limited. The lady who's the director of this company, Claire, isn't here. She's not coming down. She said she's got no money. We're going to have to take the goods. A gentleman's come in saying that he owns the goods. If we do remove any goods, he's been chatting for a good hour now about rights of limited trespass, etc., etc., etc. Right, so that's a way on here to prevent the breach yeah. of the peace. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. The police try and calm Mr. Knight down, but as he still hasn't provided any proof that he owns the assets in the salon, the agents continue the recovery process. Right, Vic, let's start moving goods. Just take one of these machines. Yeah, just take but two or three of them. backing down. That's criminal. You can't really allow them to stand there and allow yeah. that to happen. That's criminal. You're breaking the law. They're not. Can take all stuff, are you? Yes. Anyway, cheers for your, uh, uh, well, actually breaking the law. So mm. right. Basically, mm, this has been like a, an eventful day. It's been, it's been, a, it's been an education. Right now, we can go. Three of us can go. We don't need all this money to be lashed out. My money, public money. My money, come out of here. With Mr. Knight, I can't believe she sent the local wino down there to try to try to get it done. Right now gone, the agents can complete the removal. But just before they call for a vehicle, Stuart wants to give salon owner Claire one last chance to pay. The inch loss specialist. Oh, these one of the places that be sucking your booty cheek in the um the little suction cup in your belly. This one of those places. Hello, is that Claire? Um, I'm just giving you a quick call just to find out where we stand. Is this is is it honest that you can't make any payments towards the balance? You've got nothing. Because have got everything stacked, ready to go. If you can't pay, you can't pay it. That's fine. All right. Thank you, Claire. Bye bye. Claire don't give a damn about her employees. Nobody well being but hers. All right. Let's go. Let's do it. More than three hours after the agents first arrived, the removal process begins. Need to give you end with this. And it rolls out, mate. Rolls yeah, out. The goods will be sold at public auction to offset the debt. Cheers, thank you very much. Yeah, you're all right. Thank you. Dang, they took the, the front desk podium. Can we get an after picture? Can we see the place? Let me get a look. With most of the goods in the salon gone, 
blissful bodies now faces an uncertain future. There you go. There's the paperwork all there for you. All right, guys. See you later. Any appointments y'all have for the day cancelled? We gave enough warning. We were here for over five hours, so can't do more than that. I feel sorry for the people inside there. Of course we do. But once again, we didn't bring the deck here. It is what it is. The equipment was sold at public auction, but not cover the balance. The case is, dang, it didn't cover the balance? Isha Bass has killed. Okay, good. Good for her. And I just gave you up on that. Of course he did. He was almost, he paid in full on the episode, didn't he? TLL, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. At least we got negative today. Salute.